Welcome students. Now in this program we are going to do the sum of the diagonals. Already in the previous program you have seen how to do the sum of all the elements in double dimension and then also how to write if you have to add even and odd numbers. Now same way we are going to store the values like scanner s is equal to 4 by 4 I have taken row and column. You are giving the values here and the diagonals. So now there are going to be two diagonals. So we are going to write two variables here, declare them as 0. And now, what is the diagonal? Let me show you. See, this is one diagonal. 4 by 4, this is the matrix. So this is one diagonal. That means when row is 0 and column is 1. When row is 1, uh, column is 1. When row is 2, column is 2. When row is 3, column is 3. So if we see this now, what have I done? Row and column number are same. So what is the condition? If row is equal to column, then you do the sum of the diagonal. Is it clear? So this is how we do it. And on the other side, I have 4 by 4. My index number will be from 0 to 3. So sum is going to be 3. Let's look here. This is my other diagonal. If I see my other diagonal and see 0 plus 3 will be 3, 1 plus 2 will be 3, 2 plus 1 will be 3, 3 plus 0 will be 3. The same ways, if we have to write this condition, so what are we going to write? If row plus column is equal to 3, why 3? Because my last index number is 3. Suppose I had given here 5, comma 5. Then, if I had declared here uh, 5 and comma 5, then my last index number will be 4. So, I have to check if R plus C is equal to 4. So, it has to be one even matrix. That means row and column should be of the same number. So, this is the condition and we are doing the sum and printing here at the end. So, let's compile and check it. Same way you can also give the values uh, directly as I have shown you in the previous program. Now let's see. Now randomly we give so numbers are 15 and 15. Oh, by chance it has come like this. We can do it again. We can give some other values and check. So let's give some other value. And we can see this. The numbers are 18 and 15. So this is how we run double dimension program to do the some of the diagonals and this is one of the important programs to understand. Thank you.